I love exploring, and what better adventure than to try to find one of the rarest plants on the planet. Along the way, I met some Bajo kids. The Bajo are indigenous to the Philippines and are the largest sea tribe in all of Southeast Asia. Yep, sea tribe, you heard that right. These little fuckers are basically Atlanteans. Their ancestors have been swimming around for at least 1,500 years. That's since 500 AD, which means these guys have been swimming around hundreds of years way before Ferdinand Magellan ever came to the Philippines in the 1500s, way before the first Africans were ever brought to America in the 1600s. Which means this is easy ass. I told him we were gonna do three takes, but he, he's uh, he, he's going away. He's, he's not coming. He's not coming back. B bro, come back. Yo. Uh, okay, he's he's not he's not coming back. Fun fact: like any race, sometimes they're assholes. How could one not rethink your life decisions with a view like that? Surigao is known as the city of island adventures. Because it has islands and a, and, a, and a city. I'm looking at you, Tafiti. We're all thinking it. The pitcher plant Nepenthes fertitis was actually discovered on islands like these. It is thought to be very tolerant of dry and salt. Oh my god, it's a third boob! Three hours later. At this point, I got a little nervous. What if I get lost? Will I get my coin back? Did I bring enough money? Why does this boat have an extra tire? In the Bisaya language, this literally translates to vagina. Seriously, Google it. This is some next level BDSM shit right there. Somebody's been a very bad boat. You know, I've always wanted to push people off boats. Look at the amount of space this person is leaving in front. Go forward! We are going to zoom in to some random faces now. After asking around, unfortunately we weren't allowed to climb after 3 p.m. So we had to hire a trike and try to find somewhere to sleep. The next day. So it wasn't too difficult finding my way around. The locals were very helpful and nice. I was so hyped up I could bite the driver's helmet off his head. The drivers were particularly talkative. Here's a bit of our conversation. I couldn't hear anything for an hour. Pretty much our whole conversation the whole way. As we started to ascend, the road got a bit more difficult. Also, my nuts hurt, like the whole time. It was so bouncy. <laughs> Dinagat Island's water supply is very limited. Every dry season, rivers will almost stop flowing. And it wasn't long before we saw our first Nepenthes. I think it's a Truncada Mindanaoensis. See? I wonder what's there. You've got a lot of... you got a lot of mosquitoes in there. Yeah, it's, I can't see it. It's too dark. But check that out. The Philippines has 36 known vaccinium or blueberry species. These are generally restricted to acidic soils devoid of nutrients. Nepenthes truncata is one of the largest pitcher plants in the world. They are only found in a few mountain ranges in Mindanao and a few islands in southern Visayas. Once large enough, they can catch rats, small reptiles, and sometimes even birds. The wildlife in Mindanao is still heavily understudied, so there may be new discoveries in the coming years. 
Nepenthes are a host to a variety of species. Many are entirely reliant on them for survival. These are referred to as Nepenthe bionts. Several species of mosquitoes in Borneo were discovered to only breed in pitcher plants. The predatory larvae have only been known to eat other mosquito larvae. Check this out. We have some some type of I think it's a chonkara. Wait, wait, wait. It's small. Look at it. That is very cool. Look at it. We got another one here. All of this stuff is just growing right off this big ass wall. We got more out here. It's everywhere. We got all sorts of picture plants. Look, we got picture plant there. Got another one there. Got another one there. We got a whole lot of them there. Look at that. It's a tiny one. I don't know what it is. It looks like looks like grass of the flora. Am I right? Look at that. Look at. Nepenthes truncata often take 10 to 15 years before they can reproduce. They are a very slow growing species, so each individual is very important. Yeah, that thing, look at that. Holy shit. Look at that. Check out the size of this thing. Look at that. Cool. Here's a comparison of my foot. See, that's my foot. It's bigger than my f***ing foot. Look at that. That one's even bigger. Check it out. Look at that. It's way bigger than my f***ing foot. Look at that. <laughs> Freaking huge. Look at my hand beside it. Look at my hand beside it. I can put my whole hand in there, like so. Got some sort of grassle floor, I think. Is it? Is it grassle floor? Some sort of grassle floor, I think. Look at that thing. It's a, I think it's another Truncata mendenawensis. Let's check out the newest one. It's much fresher. Look at that. See? It's a good size, dude. See? It's a good size. That is pretty cool. Look at that. Awesome colors. And awesome. It's exposed in full sun. No shade whatsoever. <laughs> 